Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mike's World. Today we're taking a look at the Wavelink dual display adapter. It is USB to dual HDMI so that you can use two monitors with your laptop, computer, anything, and it's USB uh, out so you don't have to have an HDMI port on your laptop or computer. Uh, before we get started, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, like the video, leave a comment, and let's get started with the unboxing and then showing you this, and then we'll come back and give you my final thoughts. So this is the Wavelink uh, dual adapter, so USB to two HDMIs. We're gonna unbox this, show you everything about it, then we're gonna hook it up to dual monitors with my laptop, and we're gonna see if it's gonna work. I really like the fact that it has an adapter, so you can use regular USB or USB-C. So let's get this open real quick. See what's inside. Has this little, doo -doo -doo, what's it say? Wavelink device downloaded links. So yeah, pretty much useless. Uh, we do have a little quick start guide here. Let's see if there's anything in here. Hopefully I don't have to download a bunch of software. I hope it's plug and play. Windows 11, 10 or 11, Mac 10.8 or later. Output resolution up to 4K, uh, mirror extend mode, portable design. Says for Windows, locate the download folder and double click the driver file you downloaded. So it says driver installation. I do have to download some drivers. Uh, go to Wavelink, has a link there. Find and download the corresponding driver. So I'm gonna have to, actually it's not a plug and play. So I'm actually going to have to install the drivers before we're using it. So that's a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. Let's open this up, packed in here nice. And so it's got a piece of plastic covering it. Probably keep it from scratches. Let's see, let me get this off here. My wireless mic died, so not. I don't have. A, I'm just going through the camera audio, so that's probably why it sounds a little hollow. I'm kind of in a room with a little bit of an echo, so there. So it's like we got venting on both sides. Just just looking at this right off, right out of the box. It does have the adapter here, so you can do USB-C or USB. -C. USB 3.0, so that's pretty pretty neat. The way that's designed, you could actually take this off, use this as an adapter for any anything USB. So that's pretty cool. USB-C, probably what I'll use. And then you have two HDMI display ports, 4K, and that's about all it is. It's just a little adapter. So um, that's really cool, because if your computer does not have HDMI or your, um, or a display port, or you just want to use a regular TV, and again, you're using a small computer, this should work. But we're going to have to get the, down, the drivers downloaded, get this thing hooked up, and let's see how it works. For this test, I have my laptop. It's on battery power right now. I have two different types of monitors here. I have an HP and I have a Dell. Both of them have HDMI cables running out. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in uh, this the Wavelink display adapter and we're going to see how it works now i i said in the unboxing that you have to download and install drivers reading it more closely when you plug this in for the first time it should if you're connected to the internet go ahead and install those drivers so i have not pl ever plugged this into my laptop yet this is going to be the first time i'm going to use the regular the regular usb port to do that and then we'll plug in the displays i have plugged each of these displays into this laptop separately straight from the HDMI to verify that they both work and they work with this laptop through HDMI and they do. So now it's time to plug in the adapter and see if we get our dual display. Now, reading the instructions, I will tell you, we're doing all the testing right now with a Windows-based laptop. The instructions seem to be a little bit more in depth. Uh, you have to do a little bit more to be able to use this with Mac but I'm not gonna test it with a Mac, I'm only doing Windows because I'm a Windows person. 
So we'll show you what it looks like with that, but just keep in mind if you have a Mac, it might be just, there might be just a little bit more you have to do to use this thing. So let's see what happens. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plug this in to my USB port. I heard it ding. So it's probably installing Turn up the volume so you can hear it. So I think it's doing its own thing. So now with this plugged in, I'm gonna plug each of these in because I don't know if the drivers are installed or not. It hasn't given me any kind of a prompt or anything. So we'll plug them in and let's see how long it takes before they start popping up. This is supposed to be a plug and play. Um, let's see if that's the case. So we're going to plug the first monitor in. Both monitors are on. I have tested them. They're in standby mode. So there's one. There's two. They're and there they are. So it is plug and play. Now notice, let's see, they... So with Windows they're not... Okay, so they're displaying... So what you have to do with Windows is if I go over here and I hit, I right click, might have to be on the main display. Oh, there it was, it was a little delayed. Uh, display settings, and it's gonna open up on my laptop. So what you wanna do is you'll get this display setting. Let me, my mouse, and you hit identify, and you see screens one, three, and two. But I want them left to right. So if I hit identify again, screen two is on the far left, screen three should be in the middle, and screen one is my laptop, I hit apply. And if I close this, now as I move my cursor, if I move to the left of the screen here, it shows up to this one, and if I keep moving, it shows up to this one. Now, if I have my laptop centered between these two screens, I'd rearrange because I'd want the laptop screen in the middle. But this thing is working exactly as it was supposed to. All I did was plugged it in. I plugged in both monitors, and now I have a three monitor display. I can also go on my windows. I can right click, and if you have three, three monitors, I don't know why you would ever want to do this, but you could also just close your laptop, and if you had an external keyboard or something, then these could be your monitors and then it, you could set it as one and two. But either way, you can also go into display settings and opens up that window we just had. And so it's set for extend desktop to this display, but you could also duplicate the desktop. So you can actually do two monitors where it's like these two are the same or this and this are the same and you, still, and you have d dual monitors instead of three monitors. So, that, that's how you do that on Windows. It's a pretty simple process with Windows. It's much more complicated with a Mac, but as you can see here, the Wavelink display adapter works exactly as it's supposed to. So that's the Wavelink dual display adapter. Overall, this is a great product. It's plug and play with Windows. It worked really well, really fast, and I love the fact that you can use USB-C or regular USB, USB-A, um, and also that it's plug and play the, and the fact you don't need an HDMI port on your computer to be able to use dual monitors. Uh, so I think it's an excellent product. I think you should pick one of these up. Link in the description if you want to pick one up from Amazon. And uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Have a great day.